All right. Hey, guys. It's Rugged Elf here. How's everybody doing? I'm here with Goldenator12. And today, I kind of want to show you... Um, I was messing around, and I found the center of the galaxy. So, I'm not sure how many people have been to different galaxies outside of Euclid, or if they know how to get to them, or if they just want an easy way to get to them, okay? So, if we look around, I set up a little base by this portal here, okay? And I'll show you, there's a couple things we're going to need to do before we go diving into the center. So, if we come over here to portal, if y'all want to check this out and get over to, you know, if you want to hit the center of the galaxy, try something new. I'm going to come over, let me come over to this portal. It should be set up for me already. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my planet address. So, if you look up the top, there's my coordinates. Okay, if you put these coordinates in a por any portal in Euclid, it will bring you over to my base here. All right, you're welcome. Come over anytime, hang out. It's not a whole lot in the base. I just wanted to throw it together so I could get, um, you know, make a little shortcut for everybody. So these are the coordinates. Once you get here to the base, right, you're going to... You want to get to your ship and you want to fly out, okay? But what I need to do, here's a few things you want to do before you go to the center of the galaxy. All right? And if I learn how to run up my steps, I'll be happy. I need to push side. Really? Okay. I need side rails. All right. So, get my ship. Let me see. Do I have my... Let me call my freighter in because there's some changes you're going to need to make. All right. And let me show you this right now. All right. So if you come in here, when you look, when you go through, come out here and you warp over into the center of the galaxy. All right. If you see all the stuff that I have, right, all my guns, my ship, all right, all the stuff I have in my ship is, you know, once you get to the other side of the galaxy, Everything in your general cargo and everything in your gun will break. Okay? It will be broken. So, what you want to do... Let me see. Do I have... Yeah, my freighter's here. So, to start to repair this, I am going to grab some repair kits. So, they help. Okay? And if you have the supplies, you know, that'll help you repair all your stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly up to my freighter, and I got a, a C-class ship that don't have much on it, so if it breaks, I don't care. I got a crappy little gun that I'll set up, and if that breaks, I don't care, you know? So, there's some things you want to do to prepare. Now, if you notice, in my general inventory on my exosuit, there's nothing vital. You know, I got my hazard material. You can only fit so much. But in your technology, you want to put your jet pack, your hazard protection, and your life support. You put that in anything, your technology will not break. So if you can put all that stuff into your technology, um, you'll be fine. Same with your starship. All right. And we get up to my other ship, you'll see. I always put my main components in because once you get to where you're going you'll be able to call your ship in you know if you got a, if you have them up here in this main compartment and it breaks you're going to have to run to your ship and if you have your hazard protection here you're going to die so let's show you i'll show you how to set it up and then we'll head out to the center okay so when i get my ship i'm going to head out i'm going to go out into my freighter so let's get up, get into my freighter. All right. So, actually, before I get here, I'm going to drop this and we're going to the galaxy. Let's show you. So, you'll see up the top left is 3,048 light years away from the center of the galaxy. 
if you right toggle your D-pad, you can toggle over to center core. So, and if you look, this is where we're at. So, if you hit your B again to where you're doing this, and you hold straight up on the button, you'll see this, the little timey thing start going. And it's going to take you to the center of the galaxy. Okay? Now, it's not going to let me go in this. It tells me I have no fuel. All right? So, one of the precautions that you're going to make sure you need to have is once you get in here, you see in my ship, I have 90% hyperfuel. But you need to have 100% full in your hyperfuel in order to get to the galaxy. So, let's pull in here. I'm going to do a quick land. So, I decided to forego all the solars and exotics. I like the fighters. So, I'm going back to them. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I have first thing before I forget come over here and I'll grab my crappy gun so here I got a little C-class gun so if all this stuff breaks I don't care I'll swap my guns out and I'm good to go right so I don't want to climb in this ship now if you notice in this ship you got everything. Now, when I got this ship, I did take it. I, you know, I had some storage augmentations. So what I did was I built up my technology and I built up my cargo. So if you have, you know, you can't put anything in your cargo, but as your technology goes, you know, you do want to load up your hyperdrive 100%. Move that over in technology, and we're going to move all of this stuff. Right? So, we'll make sure all my technology in my ship, because I'll probably build this ship up. I'll make it, I'll make it a little better. But for, you know, video purposes, let's say. And you don't need, as you see, this has minimal stuff in it, right? So... If you don't, you know, now the secondary stuff, all this stuff here in my suit will break. Okay, that's going to break. Nothing here to break, and if this breaks, I don't care. All right, so once I get over to the center of the galaxy, I'll pull out and run a save. So once I get to the center of the galaxy, we are going to, um, I can call in my freighter. Okay. So. And I get more supplies if I need them there. So let's get out here. And get out to the center of the galaxy. And we'll go down, drop. We'll go to the galaxy map. Okay. Now. Hit my B to free. Go over, find the galaxy core. I'll hit my B again. Right. Now, Goldenator, if you don't want to break your stuff, you can meet me on the other side. Go to the anomaly and catch up with me. That way you won't break anything. So, so I'm going to hit up here. Go up to the galaxy. Now, I have 100% warp fuel. It's going to give me that option to hit A and warp. So, hit my A, and here we go. We're going to the other side. Hitting a new neighborhood. So, if this is just, you know, if you know, none of you guys ever done this before, if you've never seen it, um, if it's something that you'd want to try, get out of Euclid for a little while. These other galaxies, they have players playing in them, but, you know... Euclid has the most population of players, and there's millions of people that play this game, you know, so the more you can travel and go out, if you do the Atlas Path, and it takes you, you can pick what galaxy you go to, if you pick the green galaxy, it'll take you to Eisentown, you hear a lot of people talking about Eisentown, it's an awesome galaxy, that's getting a little populated too, 
Um, I forget the name of this. It begins with an H. But it's a little bit more uh, severe of a galaxy, too. So you're not going to find as many paradise planets as you would. Um, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. That's any part of this game. So I'm going to take you out of the galaxy here. And we'll just enjoy the ride. Here we go. We left that one. Now we're going to head to the next one. And here comes the next one. Yep, Hilbert Dimension. So, every time you leave Eisentam, you'll hit Hilbert. I'm um, not sure where you're going after Hilbert. I haven't gotten that far yet. Maybe I'll try it and see how many galaxies I can reach. Just have to pick up some crappy ships and stuff. So, and this doesn't leave you right at the core of the galaxy. Or on the out, whole, total outskirts. It puts you somewhere in the middle of it. So, it's just like starting a game in Euclid. You, you know, work your way down, work your way through. And as I've been showing you, there's ways around everything. So... Nothing found. Chris, none, abundant, and fair. Okay, so at least there's no sentinels that I got to worry about. So, here's what we're going to do. We'll come in here. Ship's out of range now, right? But just remember, I put all my technology over there, so we're cool. But let me show you. See the gun? Completely broken. Everything's going to have to be fixed. Now, I'll come over here to me. This is what I got all my repair kits for. From what I don't have stuff for, I'll fix all this stuff. And I don't have to worry about it. All my life support, hazard, and jetpack's fine. So, I can jump, I can run, have fun. So, what I like to do when I get to a new galaxy, is first thing I'm going to do is call in my freighter. Now, with your freighter, you don't have to set your freighter up a whole lot. But what I'd like to show you is, and I put all this stuff in my technology too. When you get your hyperdrive, your warp drive, um, you want to get your red star, green star, and blue star. That way, no matter where you go, wherever you land, you're going to have, um, you know, you'll be able to warp your ship into you. Now, see, it's telling me that my both of my cold stuff's broke. So, let's fix that first. Since I left from a cold planet, now I'm on a cold one. At least it's not super toxic. So see, now they're fixed again. But yes, one of the things you want to have to do. Now, let me see. Where? Where's my ship? Oh, that's right. Because I got to change my gun. Ow! Where well, you got to land on me, man? Let me, get, let me get my gun back. And I got my scanner. So my ship's up this way. And ships about 553. So, since I had changed my technology, instead of having to run over to it, instead of having to run over to it, you can land it here. So you can bring it to you. All right. So now you just got to remember though too. When I got my ship. So it's going to use more fuel. Well this one don't have anything. Any upgrades anyway. But if you have a ship that's got upgrades. Any of the upgrades in your general. That are broke. Unless you fit. You know. You can't fix them till you're at your ship. Once you get your ship. You know. To get it there, it's them upgrades aren't going to work. So what I want to do is I'm going to shoot up here. And I'm going to head out to my So I swap my gun. You see how to 
This thing handles like a 58 Cadillac. Alright, so I don't have anything to fix in my ship. I just got to fix me. Now let's get over and let's get my good ship. Get back in my ship again. Let's get back in my fighter. So now, because I got some supplies here too. Yeah, I'll I'll probably find a portal in this on this to um in this dimension too. So not right now. But what I do need to do though, I need to fix me. So here's the tedious part. I usually like heading up to the space station and doing this. That way, if I run out of supplies, I can buy them. You know, or buy supplies that I can make. Not sure how many. How many? Oh, I'm see, I'm down to one wire loom. All right, so here we do. We're going to head out to the space station. I'm just going to show you how you can set yourself up and become normal again. And then I'm not close to it. Alright. So, try not to use as many repair kits as I do. If you see how many repair kits I get, um, I can honestly tell you I haven't used the duplication glitch on on any of the repair kits that's that is how many uh derelict freighters that i've been going through no i don't want to sell you anything i'm not stopping for you you got an object of interest object of interest is usually some guy that wants to sell you crap I can get more here at the station. Well, sometimes it's a, a busted freighter, and that's when the pirates are going to come get you. You know. Alright, so, come in here. We land. Come in. All right. I don't know. Actually, let me see. I like to check out the galaxies. I'm uncomfortable, so that means it's a two star. But I can't help it. Being a redneck that I am, I like to go look at the gun case first. Very first thing, come check out the guns. So, not bad. C class just needs a couple spots filled up. You know, but the, you go to these different galaxies, right? The ships, the guns, and the space stations and such, they're not going to change much. I mean, you might think, oh, I'm going to a new galaxy. I can get a better gun and different. And they're all about the same. So, I want to need a bunch of wire looms. Give me a bunch. Give me a bunch. And save some in the, after the fact. I'm probably going to need some microprocessors too. I might have some, but just in case. Uh, what else? Oh, I'll take the copper. Just for the fact. I like the copper because when I am, uh, when I have to set up my portal, one of the things you need is copper in one of them, and I never seem to have any. So, but it all looks good. We should be good now. Oh, let's take this. So let's put my copper with the rest of it. Oh, I still have some. That's good. So I've got 40 repair kits. If I don't have to use them, I don't want to. But I just want to show you, you know, the process that you're going to have to go through to do all this. I just try to do it methodically. 
I'm going to be running out of these carbon nanotubules soon, I can tell you. Okay, so here's what we do. Re-kit. So, I don't have any phosphorus. So, hit my X, use a repair kit. So, that's why I have them. I won't have to fight with it a whole lot. So, I do have phosphorus. So, I don't know what the other thing was I was calling. Yeah. Got uranium. Uh, water is life support, and that's why I bought me a crap load of these wiring looms. Everything takes a wiring loom. All right, so now I'm ready for. I'm going to be ready for sentinels. I'm going to be ready for whatever this new galaxy throws at me. I got my full shields back now. Got my little sentinel upgrades. I got more pug units. You can shake a stick at. And that's not one thing I'm worried about. But you have that. Um, I'll show you one more thing. This is my last thing. So. Everything in here is fixed. All right. All this is fixed. This is never broke because I didn't use it. So when I brought it in, when my freighter comes in from the other galaxy, it doesn't break his stuff either. So, and I got one little spot left open here in case I get some more of these um, glass shards from the Sentinels. Because some, some of these are crappy, but I can, I'll check them and make sure and see if they're any better. Let's see, your freighter, if you have this, the only thing I'm worried about is red, blue, and green, hyperdrive, and your matter beam. Okay, I will hit up. I just found this freighter and I liked it. So I picked up on it. It was S class. So I did have all these components in here to make when you're sending out your frigates and you get use less fuel, you make more money, you do all that stuff. So I'll have to hit me a couple of freighters up. I don't think I have any of those components. I do got some like ship stuff, living ship. Uh maybe a handgun but other than that I don't have anything really so yeah see I had a I had a microprocessors so that's always good and this is what I want to tell you you have this little matter beam as long as your freighter is in the same system as you are. You can re you can get to your storage containers. You can get everything that you need. So it saves you on having to carry all kind of stuff. I carry my basic building supplies, my ship supplies. We'll put them back. So I had what. So, I used 29 of them. I didn't even think I used that many of them, actually. Had 40. No, I used 9 of them. Okay, sorry. My bad. That's why I work in IT, because math isn't a strong point for me. <laughs> okay, so now, as you see, everything, everything's fixed. Everything's good to go. So now, I am ready to come out here. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to jump me a save. So I got my save. Going. I like that little fan hauler. Some of them are pretty cool. But, alright guys. 
So that's how you get to the system. That's how you keep yourself from messing up when you get to the system and staying alive. So keep your stuff in one thing in one place. Keep everything as you can in technology. So it's all good. Anybody can get to this new place. Uh, maybe I'll work on getting to see where the next one goes to. And have a good time. And I will see you all later, guys. Have a good one. Thanks.